I'm going to be looking into a $500,000 apartment building. Chris, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Now, today's show, uh, today I'm working with my guy, Chris. Chris, me and you, man, we've been, uh, we've been doing this together for quite a while. We've done several deals together uh, throughout the years. And uh, just recently, you had started looking at some information on a property that you saw on LoopNet. This is an eight-unit apartment building. Let's pull that bad boy up. You wanted to get my take on it. 657 South Belvoir, South Euclid, 44121. List of the eye. This cat up here, Mark Curry, I believe he is uh, the owner. Uh, he's got all of his contact information up there. And that's going to be key because uh, I know we tried getting more information from him uh, in regards to how he's doing this transaction. This is technically a for sale by owner, so he's not interested in working with brokerages. He's not uh, giving out a buyer broker commission and working with that, but we'll get into that later. For now, though, let's just talk about the building, man. Let's do what we, we uh, came here to do, right? It's a nice building, and he put together a, you know, a very nice... Uh, layout here, right? He's got the whole shebang, which you've already seen. Eight two-bedroom apartments, all have two baths, one full, one half. He's got it at a sales price of 499000 Okay, just a nice neighborhood, South Euclid. You know, he's talking about, uh, you know, all the pros in here. He's giving you all the pros, but you, of course, want me to cut through the BS and just cut it to you straight. As far as South Euclid goes, let's start there. I think South Euclid is an incredibly nice neighborhood from like a risk-return ratio. You're not buying anything high risk. What this guy is selling you is a quality building. This is a nice building. You are going to get a solid building with this investment, right? This is a solid long-term investment. So there's nothing adherently risky about this. That said, I don't agree with everything on his performa. So we'll start here, all right? This is his performa. He got it, you know, set up pretty well. Uh, you know, he's 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 done a very professional uh, presentation, right? So it looks like he knows what he's doing, and that's probably obviously why he wants to sell for sale by owner, right? You know, he managed to get your attention, but you know, putting some unbiased, uh, you know, analytics into this. Let's look at what he's got. First thing here that strikes me. Here's his current rent roll. It's 100% occupied. Here is his potential market rent roll. And he said every single unit has a potential market rent of 875. I don't agree with that, bro. I, I don't see that. Is, is Euclid, South Euclid a very, very nice area? Absolutely. Uh, but I just don't see you renting two-bedroom apartments out for $875 a month, right? I would say eight and a quarter. Um per unit, I would say that is going to be probably your ceiling. Now, as far as getting all the other rents, because some are lower, right? We got 795, 775, 775, 775, 750, right? You know, you don't want to boot those tenants out. You're going to want to have the rents raise naturally, slowly over time, probably when natural turnover occurs. Or maybe you're throwing a couple $25 rent increases, but you don't want to just immediately tell everybody, hey, boom, you got to pay $825, because then you're going to deal with some turnover you don't really want to deal with, right? So that's, that's one thing, right? Now, the second thing here. Going over to his numbers, right? He is saying right now he's selling it to you. If you buy it at 500K, you're going to pick it up at a 9.52 cap. He is close. I don't think he's far off, but I don't agree with what he's got on here. I, I want to make some adjustments for you, okay? And I've made myself some notes here. The first thing I want to talk about is the property taxes. He's very, very close on the property taxes, uh, but, you know, we're talking a lot of money here, a very large building. So a few things I want to talk to you about, right? Current, 
$13,438. That is the current tax per year that he is paying on this property. Now he's giving you his potential, his, you know, this is his projected or whatever. Like this is based on your uh, getting up to these rents, right? So he's giving you the projected rent. So he's saying best case scenario, I think I can get rents all the way up to 875 a unit, which I do not agree with. I think 825 is the max. Okay, so he's got your current stuff and he's giving you the super pie in the sky stuff right here. Well, the problem is, He's trying to sell you the property at $500,000, so he boosted it up here. He boosted the income up 10 k but he didn't do that with his expenses, right? The current tax is 13438 No harm, no foul there. But the thing is, if you buy the property for five hundred k, the taxes won't remain the same. They're actually going to go up, right? Um, if you go to HoltonWines.com and you click the Tools and Resources tab, you're going to find this information. It's called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I've graded every neighborhood in Cleveland on an A to F scale. A being least risky, F being most risky. You'll see South Euclid, a very low-risk neighborhood. But what you'll also see is the tax rate in South Euclid is 3.16%. So if, he, if you were to buy this property at 500 k those taxes, which would be this column, they're going to have to go up, right? They would go up to $15,800, right? So we have to account for that, all right? He did not account for that. In addition, some other expenses, right? He's got the water sewer at four eighty six dollars a month. I think he's close. Again, I think he's close, but just, you know, being conservative with the estimates, I believe we need to add a little bit to that. I would add a little bit there. I would say we should be looking at approximately 600 a month, right? And then this right here is the big one. He's got, you know, gas, electric, property insurance, water, sewer, trash, landscapes, no plow, miscellaneous expenses. You just put it out at 7%. Now that miscellaneous expenses, that's probably vacancy, non-payment of rent, and our, you know, CapEx, repairs, things of that nature. I think this is a low estimate. 7% is too low. I'd like to see that category represented by 15%, right? So if we represent that by 15%, we're going to add another $5,904 to our monthly costs. And last thing, uh, as far as his property insurance goes, $1,800 a year. That is low, dude. Uh... We, 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 we work with a lot of insurance companies. You guys know, man, I own a farmer's business, okay? I own a farmer's office. We handle landlord insurance policies. And the cool thing is not only do we sell through and are appointed through farmers, we're also appointed through all kinds of other random little niche insurance providers that you guys have never heard of, like Foremost, USLI, all kinds of them, right? And all we do, guys, all we do is just pitch landlord properties to all these companies and give you guys the lowest possible rates. So with the fact that we do that, which by the way, if you want us to do that for you, you want us to quote out your portfolio in the show notes below, I've got a link. Click that. Uh, we are not just licensed to handle insurance here in Ohio. We are licensed coast to coast, right? We're adding new states every single day, but we have a majority of the United States covered currently. So wherever you are, wherever you're watching this from, wherever your, your rental properties are, guys, click that. So with all that said, I have, you know, I don't run the day-to-day -day of that business. I have other, you know, members of my team handling that. But with all that said, I'm, I'm fa fairly familiar with insurance rates. I think 1838, dude, I think that's low, bro. I, I, I think we got to double that up, right? So by my numbers, okay, he's saying 30,458. I think a more reasonable Estimate, a more conservative estimate would be 36825 So his NOI, 47482 Mine is what I believe is more logical, more realistic, more uh, replicable year in, year out, right? Because there's always going to be variables, of course, right? You're not going to hit the number I'm about to give you every single time. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, things of that nature. But we do have a low risk building in a low risk neighborhood so like it, it shouldn't be like extreme peaks and valleys like thinking of your current portfolio i would say this is would probably be the nicest asset you could add to your portfolio 
Uh, you you got some decent stuff in there, but this is just a really solid neighborhood, bro. Uh, I believe the NOI would actually be on average though forty one thousand one hundred fifteen, which would actually put the cap rate instead of nine and a half, it would put it at eight two. So the purpose of that, right? purpose of running those numbers isn't to to crush this dude crush this seller I, I, don't, I don't think he's being disingenuous with you uh i do think he's selling the property and he wants to present it in his best light right and i don't think he did anything necessarily uh egregious uh but you know i just i i think his stuff is very optimistic so i i think at 500k and eight Point two cap is really where you're at. I think you're at about 41 G's for your NOI. And then this, you know, this is this column is pie in the sky though, because I, I don't think you're getting that income. And then he didn't increase any of the any of the expenses along with it, right? So, my opinion, bro, at 500k, it's an 8.2 cap. Is that a horrible deal? No, I think that's a, a pretty fair deal. Um, but I'd like to see you get it lower. Like if I were trying to buy the building, I'd, I'd like to pick it up in the four hundred twenty-five thousand dollar range. If you pick this up at four hundred twenty-five, and then we ran the calculations how I just did, that would put you at his advertised cap, right? To actually purchase this building and achieve a cap at about nine five, you got to pick it up at about four and a quarter, give or take a cup, give or take a couple dollars. Now, something else I wanted to bring to your attention too, bro, because uh, here's the thing, Chris, uh, with the deals you and I have done together, uh, we've done, uh, we just did, we just did that quad in Newburgh Heights, right? And I know we did a triplex in Cleveland Heights, and I think we did a couple other smaller buildings as well. Every single deal that I've done with you uh, has been in the one to four unit range, which you get that residential financing. And, you know, anybody who's watched Holton Wise TV, watched my channel for a while, watch my shows, you guys know uh, that I think the number one reason to invest in real estate is the financing. And the best financing is that residential financing because you get 30 year loans, low fixed interest loans, right? That's awesome. When you pop up to commercial, you don't get that. So, right here, He's got, you know, a 25-year loan term at four and a quarter for you, and he's showing you your loan payment. Here's the thing. You might, you might be able to get 25-year amortized terms, but it's not going to be 25-year amortization, and then you get a full 25 years to pay it off like what you're used to with your 30-year residential loans. It doesn't work that way in the commercial space. Once you get up in the commercial space, your loan terms, you know, they're going to vary, bro. So, you know, could you get it amortized for 25 years? Probably. But the issue is you got to pay this off most likely in a five-year call, right? Or, you know, I've seen stuff go to 10-year calls. Like I've bought some buildings on a 20-year AM with a 10-year call. I got a few buildings like that. Uh, I got some stuff at a 25-5. Uh, even got lucky and picked up a couple buildings on a pure 15-year amortization. But that particular lender, they're a local lender. They're here in Ohio, and they will only loan to folks who also live here in Ohio. So, Chris, that's not going to work for you. So a more accurate representation of the type of loan you're going to be able to pull as a guy who doesn't live local is probably going to be this 25-year loan amortization, yes, but I believe you're probably going to have to pay that off in five years. So you're either going to need to refinance every five years, pay some more fees, or you're going to want to, you know, just fork over the cash to pay the sucker off, or you're going to be, you know, shopping for new loans, things of that nature. Other than that, it just kind of broke down as, uh, you know, his expense is a little bit more, but I think we've already went over that. And then he just, you know, shows the finishes this out by showing the photos. And dude, it's a nice building, right? It's super nice. Um, I think his numbers are super close. The only, you know, major difference that I could give to you is I believe you got to pick this sucker up around four and a quarter uh, for that to be the price, man. I just think four and a quarter is where you want to do it. Now. As far as how you go about this, he is wanting people to reach out to him directly. He's trying to sell this for sale by owner, right? So, you know, Chris, here's all his info. Here's his name, phone number, email address. Uh, typically, the way real estate is sold the majority of the time, what most people uh, are going to be used to is a situation where you are a buyer. 
you want to buy a home, it's listed by a seller's real estate agent. That real estate agent, uh, they're charging that seller a commission. Um, usually it's around 7%, and then of that 7%, that real estate agent, they decide how much of it they would like to pay to the real estate agent who's typically representing the buyer. Uh, a lot of times we see 3%, sometimes we see 3.5%, sometimes the listing agent, they'll split it. Sometimes they'll just offer 3% uh, in properties in this particular price range. What we see in the Cleveland market, we see a lot of things where the seller will, the seller's agent will give the buyer's agent 3% on the first 100000 and maybe 1% or 2% on the remainder. However, in this particular situation, and that's, folks, that's how your buyer's agent gets paid, right? However, in this particular situation, he is not interested in doing that. He is not paying a commission. So you got two options on how you want to tackle this, Chris. You could go it alone, right? That's what this product is for. You know, for guys, anything you want to do, you want to get our unbiased opinion. We're giving you a lot of advice. You've paid for this advice. Uh, so our relationship on this particular property could end here at the video. And you just take the advice I've given you, take my analysis of it, and try to pick it up uh, for the best price you can, which I believe, again, four and a quarter. Uh, and you just handle the whole thing on your own. That's one option. Option number two, because this guy is not willing to pay how most sellers do in a traditional fashion. You could, if you'd like, you could hire us. We will represent you, but we're going to have to get paid, right? So, you know, market rate for, for a job like this is going to be 3% on the first 100000 and then between 1% and 2% on the remainder. So let's call it uh, 1%. So if you picked it up, just easy math, for 500 Gs, which I hope you don't, but if you did, right, that would be 3000 uh, on the first 100000 and then that's another 4000 So that'd be like a $7,000 payment uh, to us, to Holton Wise, to represent you. And if you had us represent you, we could go through the due diligence with you, set up the inspection, go over the inspection report with you. Uh, we've already given you our list of lenders, but they'll, of course, want to go in and appraise it. So I'm not pushing you one way or the other. Uh, I think you've been in this game quite a while. You've done a bunch of deals. Uh, if, if you feel you're comfortable going this alone, uh, just dealing with this seller, I think you have more than enough information uh, to go ahead and do that. And I don't see anything being super risky with this deal because even if you did, if you did just pay 500k just because you wanted a nice trophy property, I don't think you're ever going bankrupt off of it. But just for it to be a very good deal, for it to be very competitive, I think you got to pick it up at four and a quarter. And uh, if you're willing to pay the commission and you'd like us to continue on the journey with you uh, from now all the way to closing, we can do that as well. But totally up to you, brother. That's all I've got for today, Chris. I wish you luck on this particular deal. Everybody else, I want to bring your attention to HoltonWise.com. Why don't you go to the Property Search for Sale tab. Two ways you can buy properties from us. First one, the Investment Properties for Sale show, guys. We email that show to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list as well as HoltonWise TV on YouTube. Those are going to feature properties we've been hired to sell. They're going to have video tours, a full breakdown, drone footage, the whole shebang. The second way is the MLS Search and Analysis Show, which is what you're watching right now. This, folks, this is where you could hire us to work for you and for you alone, right? I have no relation to the seller of this apartment building. I am not here to sell this apartment building to anyone. As a matter of fact, if anybody out there who is not Chris is watching this, this apartment building's long gone, bro. I sent this video to Chris in a private link. He paid for our services, so we sent all the information to him privately. We do not publicly release these videos on Holton Wise TV until the deal is gone, right? So perhaps Chris bought the property. Maybe Chris and the seller, they couldn't come to an agreement and Chris didn't buy it. We've left the video private until that property was no longer on the market, until that property sold to somebody else. Now we've released it here for you guys uh, to learn from. But if you want to do a little bit more than learn, you want to have me go over your deals or you want to have me find deals for you based upon your criteria, you pick up any one of these packages up top. We got the most popular package. That's the 10 property package, right? You give me all your information, folks, and I will go out and find 10 properties. We typically do two properties per video, sometimes one, sometimes three, but usually it's two. So you're going to get anywhere between, you know, 
three to ten videos from us, usually five though, right, with those ten properties. And we go back and forth, we write offers, we really build you a portfolio. But we have other options as well, right? Like this particular option, this is what Chris is utilizing right now. 500 bucks, no matter how you came across the property in a completely unbiased fashion, I will break down my thoughts on the property for you, right? I'm not getting paid anything other than that fee to give you my take. So it's completely unbiased. I don't make any more or less money if Chris does or does not buy that particular property because I believe he's probably going to want to just work directly with that seller should he decide to move forward. Again, my services are still available, but I am not pushing that on you, Chris. I'm just giving you your options as to what's available. So the other folks watching, that's how you could work with us. That is all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.